All right, today I'm looking at a really simple way to practice all 18 triadic melodies from any triad type. First, we'll look at the major triad. You have root position, first inversion, and second inversion. Each of those inversions has six triadic melodies, so a total of 18 melodies. If you use spread triads, then you get another 18, and if you include greater octave displacement, you can get more. So there's a lot of really great triadic melodies out there, and usually we only play a fraction of them. In fact, in looking at a lot of triad pair books over the years, I've never found a triad pair book that uses all 18 orders of notes. So it's a common thing to, to not actually address or explore the different possibilities with just any three-note set or a triad. So here's how it sounds in major doing this routine. You can also apply this to minor. And you can do this with augmented as well. Obviously, augmented, all the inversions are very similar because the structure is symmetrical. However, I do practice the, all the inversions in 18 orders of notes for uh, augmented triads because thinking about them in these inversions is still important. And then if you put on a drone, you can hear the difference in those shapes. They're obviously, if G is in the bass, a second inversion melody using an augmented triad is going to sound different. Um, and the six orders of notes will be different the way they sound against the root. I also apply this principle to practicing whole tone and diminished scales. They need to be practiced all 12 versions, even if they're symmetrical, because depending on the root, all the notes above the root sound different. So we have to learn to hear them differently. <laughs> Lastly, we can listen to how this exercise sounds using diminished triads. So it's a great system for exploring any three note set. It works for triads, it works for clusters, it works for fourths. Any three notes can be put through this equation, which is root, first and second inversion, and the six orders of notes for each of those inversions. So it's a great way to call out and find, discover different melodies, different little melodic cells that you can use for composition or improvisation. All right, hope you find that interesting. See you on the next one.